Let's learn more about how to customize and use the dashboard feature within Terramind. Dashboards can be an incredibly useful feature for daily employee productivity monitoring and can be helpful for managers or administrators to get a quick snapshot of what is happening across the company. Terramind comes with two pre-built dashboards, the Enterprise Dashboard and the Focus Dashboard. You can also create custom dashboards that include only the widgets you want to see based on the activity you are looking to monitor. To start using the dashboard feature, or to create your own custom dashboard, go to Dashboards on the left-hand side of the screen. Let's start with the Focus Dashboard. The Focus Dashboard is designed for department managers, security analysts, and administrators who might want to view detailed information about their online employees, user activities, or a live montage of online users. By default, the Focus Dashboard comes with all of these widgets you see on the screen. Something to note, if you set the dashboard's date to the current date, the data for all of the widgets, with the exception of the online employees widget, will refresh automatically every five minutes. The online employee widget at the top shows the list of employees that are currently online, the computer they are working on, their current tasks if you have tasks configured within Terramind, the name of the application or website they are currently working on, the number of hours they have been logged into their device today, and their general input activity percentages. Here, under the activity column, you will be able to see your employees' different activity input percentages broken down into five-minute intervals of time. The higher the bar, the more activity the user had. The activity is based on any keystrokes or mouse movement that the user had during that five-minute interval of time. The lower bars indicate lower levels of activity, and any gray space represents periods of inactivity or idle time. Over on the far right-hand side of the Online Employees widget, you can click on the camera icon to activate the Live Session player to see your employee's screen activity in real time. Check out the link below to learn more about the different buttons and capabilities that can be activated within the Live Session player. Please note, while the Date Adjuster above can be used to show the data and information for previous dates, the information included on the Online Employees widget will only show the information for today's date, regardless of the date that is selected. Some other useful widgets that appear on the Focus Dashboard by default include the Live Montage widget, which is similar to the Live Session Player and can show your employees' screen activity in real time. If you need to investigate any of the Live Montage screens you see further, click on the screen recording to see the Session Player pop up on your screen. On the right of the Live Montage widget, we can see the Email Log and the Alerts Log. Both of these widgets are useful to see any recent emails your employees have sent or received, as well as any recent behavior alerts they may have violated. To take a closer look at any of the emails that have been recently sent or received, you can click on the envelope button to see the exact email and any attachments that were included. You can also click the camera icon to activate the session player to see the exact moment that the email was sent or received. If you see any alerts on the alert log that require more investigation, you can click the camera icon here as well to activate the session player. Here, we can see more widgets relating to our user's application and website usage. The most used applications and websites will appear here from greatest to least usage. Over on the right, we can see the graph widget showing how much time our users have worked today in order from most to least time as well as the graph of our user's average input activity for the day, in the order of most active to least active users. Now let's take a look at the Enterprise Dashboard that would have come with your Terramind instance. The Enterprise Dashboard is primarily useful for business owners, executives, or senior or HR management who might want to keep an eye on the organization's overall security and productivity health. As such, the Enterprise Dashboard will focus on KPIs relating to the wider organization. The three widgets that are included within the Enterprise Dashboard by default include the Security Metrics widget, the Productivity Metrics widget, and the Online Employees widget. The Security Metrics widget shows your organization's various departments below and has an overview of any behavior alerts triggered by individuals within that department, any incoming or outgoing emails, web uploads, email attachments, and file events that have occurred within each department. You can also use the filter search bar at the top of the report to see the corresponding data for just one department at a time. The Productivity Metrics widget will show the overall productivity data for each department within your organization, including the department's work time, the average activity input for each department, 
the percentage of employees within each department that were idle during the time period you select, as well as the number of activities completed by the users within each department. The last widget that is included on the Enterprise Dashboard by default is the Enterprise Online Employees widget. Similar to the Online Employees widget on the Focus Dashboard, this widget shows all of the employees that are currently online, the computer they are working on, graphs that show how the individual's activity input changes throughout the day, the user's current task and activity, average activity input for the day, as well as the amount of time the users have worked for the day and any idle time. Now let's take a look at how to create our own custom dashboard and edit the focus and enterprise dashboards if we want to make any changes. If we want to create a brand new dashboard, we can do so by going to dashboards on the left and then selecting the green add new dashboard button on the top right. Here we will see a pop up that will ask us if we want to start with an entirely blank dashboard or one that already has widgets that we saw in the focus dashboard added by default. In this case, let's start with an entirely blank dashboard. Next, we can name the dashboard and add an optional description and then hit the green create button at the bottom. Next, we will see a pop-up that will show all of the options for the widgets we can add to the dashboard. At the top, we can see three different categories of widgets. Any widgets in the monitoring category monitor user activity related to applications and websites, session player or screen recording footage, and any other activity reports like email and keystroke logs. The productivity widgets relate to your user's productivity, such as their average input activity rates, time worked, and payroll information if you have your employees' wages configured within Terramind. The security and risk widgets relate to any behavior rule violations that have occurred. To add any of these widgets to your dashboard, click the Add Report button located to the right of any of the widgets. You can also search for a specific widget by name in the search bar above. After you have added all of the widgets you would like to include in your new dashboard, we have a few other things we can do in order to customize the dashboard further. One thing we can do is edit the size and shape of any of the widgets on our dashboard by dragging the bottom right corner in or out. This is useful if we want some of our widgets to be larger or smaller than others or group similar widgets in the same row for easy viewing. All of the widgets on the screen are also draggable and can be moved by clicking on the widget and dragging it to a new place on the dashboard. We also have the option to edit the settings of each widget by clicking on the gear icon located on the top right of each widget. For example, the settings on the online employees widget allow us to not only change the name of the widget, but we also have the option to filter the names of the employees the widget will display and the exact information that will be displayed within the widget. This can be useful if you want to add multiple online employees widgets to the dashboard and then separate them by users or departments. We also have the ability to change the number of items that are shown within some widgets. For example, if we click on the settings for the activity rating widget, we can again edit the name of the widget and the employees that will be displayed, but we can also change the number of top values shown. In this case, we want to see our top 30 employees who have the top activity input for the day instead of just the top 10. To do this, input the number of employees you would like for the widget to include and select apply changes. Back on the dashboard, drag the lower right corner down to show all 30 employees activity ratings for the day. Finally, if there are any widgets you included that you would like to now remove from your dashboard, you can do so by clicking the X on the top right of any widget. 